Hey guys, RC Kiddo 71 here, and today I'm going to do a video on waterproofing my ESC and receiver for my axial. So I've gone ahead and taken apart the ESC. Um, this is actually the AE2 ESC from my axial SCX10, and you can see all of the little circuit boards and all of that stuff inside there. I just basically took apart the, the casing and removed it. And what I'm gonna do is try to waterproof this. Now, I got this idea from Codes Empire and I just wanna give him credit for it because this is not my idea. Um, but I'm gonna make a little video on it just because I like to document my own stuff and maybe share with you guys if you don't know who Codes Empire is. I'm gonna use silicone conformal coating uh, this stuff I think was about 10 or 11 dollars on amazon.com um, so so I got that this is my receiver the axial receiver that came with my SCX 10 so you can see that all the little circuit boards there we're gonna coat that up and this stuff um, I don't know, I think it's gonna work really well. Make sure you're using a very well ventilated area. And in fact, I am um, gonna use a respirator. Maybe overkill, but this stuff really smells bad. Now I'm just gonna let this dry. Um, and what I can see is that it's gonna take maybe two or three coats, I believe. Um, all these little spikes right here, these pins that come through from the other side, they're gonna need to be coated. You wanna make sure all of these circuit boards are covered. One thing that I was kinda worried about was this the bind button, but I went ahead and just covered right over it. Um, all right, basically I'm going to take this and put it off on the side and hang it to dry it. So uh, now we go with the ESC coating. So one of the things that we're going to have to do is try to get it down inside underneath this heat sink. Um, so I'm just going to go along this edge and drip it down inside there. And again, I'm, I'm going to do this pretty liberally. I'm not cheaping out on the coating. I'm just going to let it run down inside there. And I'm hoping that that's going to show up on the video. All right, so I'm really like just basically pour, almost pouring it down inside there. Um, to try to get it to come all the way through to the other side and uh, it looks like it's really doing a nice job of coating underneath that heat sink um, the idea is to get it on there and then eventually I think after it dries it will shrink down real tight on top of all those electronics and keep them from getting wet. And so now I'm just gonna let this dry. Um, you know what I might do actually? I'm thinking that I might put some of this stuff right down inside the, even though I have heat shrink and stuff around my EC5 connectors, I'm gonna load this up with the silicone conformal. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and a half since I put the silica conformal coating on and hopefully you can see that. It is beginning to dry and shrink up and actually it's looking really good. 
Okay guys, so it's been um, four or five days and basically what I've done is I've let this stuff dry but I actually put three coatings of this stuff on here and I'm pretty sure you can see that good. It's nice and, nice and shiny. It's everything on there is covered. Anything that had any kind of microchip processor, any kind of connection. I even did these leads, um, these power leads right here for the battery and on this side over here I've got it nice underneath this heat sink so it covers the board underneath that heat sink which you probably can't see but um, trust me this thing is coated there's not a single spot on here that isn't covered except for the heat sink um, but if you get a little bit you can see probably I got a little bit of this conformal coating on the heat sink not a big deal all right um, so I'm going to put this back together, and it occurred to me that I didn't show you how to take it out, but maybe um, I can do that in this process. So this is the bottom to the ESC case, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and snap this back into place. Now, one thing you want to make sure you do, do not force. There's no reason to force this thing. If you're forcing it, um, you're doing something wrong. So you got to find the right spot the right um, position and then it should just snap right into place like that all right so now this little ring needs to go right on there and then the top goes like this okay so we'll pull this down snap that on into place Snap the back end of it into place, boom, just like that. And now I have a waterproof ESC, and I am super excited about that. So here's the thing, guys. Um, I don't really have any intention of completely submerging this, but if you were to go watch Codes Empire's uh, video, technically I could put this thing completely underwater and not have to worry about it at all. And this stuff does such a great job, you can't even hardly tell. The only thing that you can tell is that I did cut the back, the sticker. So let me just talk about that for a minute. Um, in order to open this thing up, basically what I did is I took my X-Acto knife, flipped this up, and I just ran my knife right down here and right down here on either side. Then I just took these and you pull them apart and you push the base of the ESC out. It, just, it comes out just like that. Just boom, really easy, watch. Just like that, see? All right, so now I can put it back. Um, I'll give you guys a hint. I didn't do this because I really honestly don't care, but if you took a heat gun and you don't wanna do it too on hot because you don't wanna damage the ESC, but if you were to take a heat gun and just warm the sticker up that wraps all the way around the ESC, you actually can just peel that sticker completely off and then set it aside somewhere where it won't get dirty. Um, undo the whole thing and then very carefully um, at the end, um, warm it up again maybe with a heat gun and just stick it right back on. I've actually done that before um, and it worked really well. Um, so just another way to kind of hide your your waterproofing but actually what I'm gonna do um, is remove this sticker completely because I really don't really don't care so much about it um, but anyhow all right so um, secondly what you'll see now is that I have my receiver which I have done the exact same thing with. See, see how nice and covered it is? This one, I actually put even more coats on. I think I might have done five coats, which I'm really trying to protect it. And I think I mentioned this before, I just went right over top of the bind plug. I'm not too worried about that. So we will go ahead and we'll put that back in. Uh, let me undo this. Okay, to hold and whatnot. So I'm gonna put that right back in like this. 
I did put the silicone conformal out onto the end of the antenna just to coat that a little bit. Put this back on, just like. I'm actually looking forward to getting this stuff back into my rig because I haven't been able to drive it since it's been out. So we're just going to put these screws back in. And there you go. So now that's back, all right? Um, so guys, pretty easy. Now, I know somebody's gonna ask me to do a test, to submerge it in water and do a test. I'll tell you this right now. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I don't, I'm not really worried about it. I've seen it done. If you want, but if you go, I got this idea from Codes Empire. Go check his video out. He's got a video that shows this completely submerged along with the servo, the ESC, the motor, and everything. It's like a 15 or 20 minute long video with his kids. It's really good. Um, that's where I got the idea. So instead of doing that myself, I'm gonna direct you to go there and watch him, okay? And hopefully you guys uh, find this somewhat um, instructive and useful.